for what you and your family have been through. And I'm sorry for what Dr. Ford and her family have been through. It could have been avoided. Do you believe in God? I do. I'm going to give you a last opportunity. We're right here, right in front of God and country. I want you to look me in the eye. Are Dr. Ford's allegations true? They're not accurate as to me. I have not questioned that she might have been sexually assaulted at some point in her life by someone, someplace. But as to me, I've never done this. Never done this to her or to anyone else. I've talked to you about uh, what I was doing that summer of 1982, but I'm telling you, I've never done this to anyone, including her. Are Ms. Ramirez's allegations about you true? Those are not. Um, she, um, no, no, none of the witnesses in the room support that. Uh, the, if that, that had happened, that would have been the talk of campus uh, in our freshman dorm. The New York Times reported that as recently as last week, uh, she was calling other classmates seeking to, well, I'm not going to characterize it, but calling classmates last week and just seemed very, um, I'll just stop there, but it's not true, it's not true. Are Ms. Swetnick's allegations made by Mr. Adamati about you true? Those are not true, never met her, don't know who she is. There's a letter released within two hours of that breaking yesterday from I think 60 people who knew me in high school, men and women, said it was uh, their words nonsense totally you know the whole thing that totally ridiculous none of these allegations are true correct no doubt in your mind zero i'm 100 percent certain not even a scintilla not a scintilla 100 percent certain senator you swear to god i swear to god so i judge judge